Welcome to part two of our lesson on government failures. We kind of set up the fact that governments can fail in the last video. Here we're going to go through some specific examples. Uh, first issue is what we call the majority rule problem. So when you have majority rule votes, which are the most common types of votes, you can have serious inefficiencies with these. Uh, you could have a group where, where there's a small majority or sometimes even a big majority who gain a tiny amount of value one way versus the other on a particular law but cost the minority large amounts of value by passing these mm -hmm. laws. Uh, just thinking through this a little bit, there's a number of mm -hmm. cases. Any sort of vote on a public project easily could could see this occurring. Uh, perhaps those who gain it, like there's a certain amount of taxes that would be collected and those who gain view the value as being worth slightly more than the taxes and that's 55%, but there's another group who will never use this at all. So the entire value of the taxes to them is just wasted money. Well, you could have a case where you have a 60-40 vote, but overall, if you just added up the value to society, far worse off. You could actually have the opposite case too, where 60% don't want something, 40% do. The 40% would have gained a tremendous amount. The 60% would have lost a little bit, but not much. Um, once again, the majority rule problem would, would pose significant issues. So the general idea on this, with you have, when you have markets, dollars measure the intensity of preferences. So you end up with an efficient outcome. One person, one vote systems do not and therefore can lead to, and do lead to, a number of inefficient outcomes. Second example is the special interest group effect. Uh, so special interest groups are defined as a group, you know, you have a small group that has a huge interest in some particular entity. Well, because of that, they get, there's a lot of benefit for them to have a particular government action taken, mm -hmm. can often donate a lot of money to the politicians to help get these particular actions passed. Uh, the average person might not want it, but it's such a small deal to the average person that it's not really worth their time to complain about it. It's, you know, in the scheme of issues, it's small, so they're not even going to bother with it. So you look at things like the Farm Bill or museums that are funded. Uh, Alaska had the famous Road to Nowhere festivals that are sponsored by the government, uh, sports stadiums, tax dollars fund a lot of sports stadiums, and that's what the picture is. Uh, it's a construction on a sports stadium on the bottom of the screen. Uh, huge gains to the beneficiaries. Net value to society of almost all kind of special gift, gifts from the government of this, certainly negative. You know, right? There's no good value to the government getting involved here. Uh, these are things that if the private market wanted them, they would have done them on their own. Or sometimes the private market would have done them on their own. Does anybody doubt we'd have 32 NFL teams if the government stopped funding sports stadiums? Or I shouldn't say the government. It's the local governments who usually just decide they, they'll sponsor the sports stadiums. Of course, there'd still be 32 NFL teams, but it is extra money for the owners by getting these, uh, by getting those amounts. So societies, you know, there's no value to the taxpayers, certainly, on these. And this is where small groups pass things that are overall harmful for society. Um, but the overall cost of each one is pretty small, so most of the time they can, they can get through.